Okay, so now we're ready to actually um, create a table within the uh, MySQL database and um, see if we can communicate with it. We can actually um, log in, create a, log, a simple, a simple, very simple uh, login form. Um, before that, we would have to um, here because we this is blank. Um, within this function. Um, we're going to use a built-in PHP function that will, I'm sorry, within this method, because functions within the class are called methods, okay? So within this method, we're going to create, a, we're going to use a built-in PHP function. Um, so this that function is going to um, execute um, the method, right? So that's called, called, use, oh, there it is, the first one, <laughs> call use a func array, second one, actually. Um, and then within this function, we will provide an array, okay? Um, and within the array, we will um, add the uh, PDO variables. Um, sorry, the PDO variable and the uh, method we created. So, where is it? The PDO variable here. So we could just bring it up here. Okay, so first we got to create the array, okay? And then within the array, we're going to call that PDO. And remember, whenever we call a variable outside of a that's outside of the the method we have to use this PDO okay and then that method sorry this right here this argument method that we passed in so we're gonna say method okay and then outside of the array and now we can use that we could call the arguments okay and that's it so now this is gonna run we're gonna call the the methods and arguments whenever we run the inst whenever we call it this uh, database whenever we instantiate it basically so um, from here let's create a table so you can use um, I'm not sure you can download um, workbench is free of course community community edition or you can use PHP PHP ad my admin um, for here I'm going to create a data a table I'm going to name it users okay and if I get inside here um, it's four fields. Uh, we're going to use um, user ID. Okay, and that's an int. It's a primary key. What is this? So it's a primary key and it's order incremented. Um, the next one is an email. Uh, Varchar, let's just max it out, give it 255. Uh, password. You do the same thing, 255. And for the full name, um, what is it? Full name, let's give it 100. Man, that's too long, let's give it 50. Okay, um, what is this? Goodness. And that's it, so we can just hit apply apply fine and then run finish close that and then we could go into the tables and we see the users um, well I'm blind <laughs> and there you see the user ID email password and full name okay so the user ID is auto is um, auto incremented so we don't have to worry about that the password so we're gonna add a user let's just add a you manually add a user for now I'm called it Joe at me.com. Password, just give it password. Full name, Joe Doe. Okay. Um, what is this? Uh, all right, then apply. All right, so we have that. So now if I would do select roles, you actually see that one user in the database okay so we go with that um, so now what we want to do um, we could just get right into it or we want to validate any type of input right um, this is a basic bare minimum validation right we don't want to uh, so we could do a file PHP file um, 
validate. And remember, it's 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 not a file. It's a class. Good thing that's why I put that uppercase. So PHP, we're gonna say validate. Okay. Um doesn't you don't have to include any any other files. Doesn't uh, we don't have to create any variables outside of the class, so we could just create a function, right? I'm sorry, a method. Um, it's going to be a static method, um, and, it, and it requires one one parameter, one argument. Okay, so I'm going to public static uh, function um, escape. It's going to be escaping any characters and all that input, the user input. Okay, input, right? And then we want to trim, right? So trim is going to remove white spaces from the beginning of the word and at the end of the word. Okay. Um, and we're going to trim what? We're going to trim the, the input. We're going to trim whatever the user pass in. Okay. Input again. And then we want to strip any slashes, right? So this is basically doing like some type of check you know so we, we won't allow any user you know any script kitties out there who are trying to hack you know to in, in embed any type of some type of javascript or anything like that um okay and then we're gonna do another input html entities oops okay um so this it's actually how can I how can I um, say it um, the HTML entities or oh, entity right is a piece of like a piece of text right so is any piece of text that's that's what's called the HTML entity so it's a piece of uh, it's like a string right that begins with an ampersand um, and it ends with the semicolon so we we don't want that right we don't want to allow um, that right so anyhow um, we're gonna get rid of that so we're gonna say input and end quotes uh, you see it yeah three and that's it for that so that's the quote style um, and that's it we're done with this the only thing we have to do is return the input and we go we're good we're done with this <laughs> basic validation right um, Uh, but that's just for the input. Um, again, we really don't have to validate email because we can um, um, use HTML built in HTML5 require, um, or we can use um, um, email. You know, um, but anyhow, let's create a, a, another simple method that will check if it's a valid email. It's just going to be a one-liner. Um, so public static function uh, filter email um, and it takes in an email um, so we're gonna return and this is gonna be this is a built-in function built-in PHP function filter var and we want to filter email and then we want to filter by Make sure it's email, right? So we're going to validate the email. And as it, so we'll validate the email and make sure it's an at, 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 at sign. Or sometimes I think it will actually see if it's a, it has a dot, dot net or dot com, whatever. So that's that. Um, we should be good to go. Uh, now, I wonder should we uh, concatenate um, um, let me see the in it all right so um, I don't want to go that route but let's 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 go that route so let's auto auto load um, um, our classes, right? I mean, if you if you if you're conf, uh, familiar with Composer, right? How Composer has that feature where it it, uh, it could um, auto load any um, 
classes, you know, within, um, if it's, if it's, if you configure it, you can actually use Composer to auto load file, auto, auto load classes and stuff, or it just, or it can auto load just a PHP file, any PHP file you have, it once configured. So we can do the same, something similar to this. So instead of like manually say include this, include, cause we're going to have like, you can have like several classes, right? And we don't want to keep including that, like, you know? So in order to do that, since we know this is going to be the, you know, the entry point of the app, right? So we can actually auto load any classes that we need from here within this file. So we can use a built-in, um, a built-in PHP function called um, SPL underscore auto load underscore register. So this would actually do the job for us. Um, this guy here, we're done with that, right? Um, the only thing we have to do, we have to create a function within this. Um, and then we'll give it the class. The class is the input that we're going to, the variable uh, for the class name, you know, like database. Um, what else we have? Validate. Okay. So that's the class. So it's just taking the first word, not the .php, the first word of the class, of the, of the name of the class that is. All right. So no, go away. Okay. So the next thing we would do, we would just require the class, right? So we're going to say require and put it here. Um, since we don't have, we don't even have to use it. We could just say require the actual class right now. We could just say dot class, concatenate the extension. Because remember, I'm saying it's just going to be the name. So we're not in concatenate dot PHP, right? That's the extension of the file name, .php. Okay. And that's it. We're good to go. And that simple, we have it running, right? So um, you can test this out if we do this right here in the validate. Um, I'm going to do a public, public function, uh, my class, right? Um, and then I'm just return some uh, return a string. Okay, um, and that's it, right? So now we can actually call this within the init, right? So the, when we did the test before, remember we just did a um, we could call it validate, right? Um, equals new validate and get rid of that. Okay. Oops. And then now we'd have to do an echo dollar sign vala. What's all this, man? What's all this? Um, validate. Um, and then what was that? Um, what would it, there it is, my class. Um, okay. And fresh, there you go. Hey there, my class. You see how that's awesome, is it? We 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 there we we never um. If you see here, we never included any classes, right? Validate was or database, nothing was included. This little guy here did all that, because because right here in the init, I'm sorry, in the um yeah in the init, we actually initialized the validate class. So it, we say oh we want to use it, so initialize it then we can use it so that's awesome okay so in the next video we're going to go further and um, we're going to actually start creating probably a login form a simple login form until the next time